Hello, day 23. Um, I've really struggled recording this video because my thoughts are a bit complex today and every time I say them they go a bit funny or I communicate them in a way I'd be really unhappy with putting in the public without being able to have a conversation. So anyway, um, just had my rice um, and yeah, we're the good side of halfway now so we're closing in on the end now from here on, it, downhill. Um, I'm not going to go into that again. Um, and yeah, I've been thinking about comparison basically today and you know what it's like on social media. Social media basically is your high right, highlight reel of your life, your holidays, your best moments with friends and family and all those sorts of things. The only rubbish stuff you get on there are basically people posting like, oh, I've had a disaster, isn't this really funny? And if anyone actually posts anything serious, it's like, well, why have you overshared on here? Um, I didn't come on here for this. So we end up in this really bad sort of vicious circle on on facebook i think or social media t twitter or instagram whatever it is that you use of seeing the highlights of other people's lives and that impacting you because you're comparing yourself to what their life is and ultimately those things come down to us trying to find a sense of fulfillment in our life saying i want to be fulfilled so i chase more things and we We've been sold this lie, I think, that if we have more stuff, if we have better experiences, I can look back on my life and go, oh, wasn't my life great? Um, but I actually believe that life is much deeper and much more meaningful and than th those experiences and those things. And, and so I would say to you today, if you start to compare yourself, if you're watching this video, you're probably in a very privileged situation. If you compare yourself to others that have less, you'll start to be realise how grateful you should be for the things that you have. And it may be that someone looks at your life and thinks, oh, if only I had their life, if I only had their things, then I would be fulfilled. And you know, standing in your position, actually, these things, this stuff doesn't bring fulfilment. Just very briefly, Gary Speed was a, an ex-pro footballer. He's one of the most capped Premier League footballers ever. Um, and I don't know his personal personal story or anything really but I know that he was a married man with children he had all the things that society would say money fame um, he was a pundit all those things yet he he did commit suicide so sadly and so tragically um, in his four I think just as he turned 40 and you'd ask the questions well he's got everything our society says you need and you'd compare yourself to those things and think I need all those things to be satisfied but he wasn't so my, my question for you today, I guess, or my thoughts today are around like, what is it that satisfies you? What is it that will ultimately make you content and mean that you won't be comparing yourselves to people that have more all the time? Um, again, it's quite a long video. I couldn't get my thoughts out very succinctly, but there you go. Um, so yeah, and these salutes are a new thing, so I see you tomorrow. <laughs>